Being on a campus that has about 3,600 residents, you can imagine the energy that is used. I think it's important to conserve energy because it's not something people really think about on a daily basis. Campus Conservation Nationals, which started in 2010, is a friendly program for college campuses to engage their students to compete to reduce. This was something new and different and really engaging and something that the students could experience themselves firsthand. The students are the greater majority. Yes, staff will do things because they have to, but when you get students involved, you know they're doing it because they're passionate about it. They're learning from it, and that's what a university is about. We signed on to the New York City Mayor's Challenge to reduce our carbon footprint by 30%. We have to be understanding about how much energy is being used by the students and whether or not a behavioral change by the students can reduce the energy. Campus Conservation Nationals for 2013 involved a new program for St. John's University called Wattstopper. Wattstopper was our energy director's vision for what we could promote to students and have them make pledges to use less energy. It's a program where students can understand how much energy they're consuming from the devices they bring to their dorm room. Eco reps are a group of RAs that got together to promote sustainability within the residence halls. Resident advisors are on the front line and having echo reps, those eight resident advisors can spread the word about Wattstopper. The eco reps kind of are leading the charge within the res village of that behavioral change, the behavioral switch. We're the first to go through and really push this program throughout the residence halls and for ourselves. The testing was definitely one of the things that we were most excited about. Before we actually started data logging, like what we did every day, we grouped together and we all brought things from our room. What we did was we have this what, what's up machine and uh, you plug it into the outlet and then when you plug in your device into it, it tells you how many kilowatt hours uh, your device needs to run. The building dashboard is a real-time monitoring current transformer device on the electrical feeders of the building. This dashboard is connected to the Campus Conservation Nationals competition, and this is how we monitor energy consumption and energy conservation over time. What we like about this system is that students can see their energy consumption in real time on their individual residence halls. We recommend that other universities put a system in like this so that they can get their students engaged in energy conservation. For one week, we had to record every little piece of energy that we used. You're not doing anything with the microwave. You don't have to be in the room with the microwave, but the microwave is still consuming energy. This is hard. I saw it was like a, it was like a diet for energy. My showers are super long, like, I don't know. It opened my eyes a lot. It's not that much of a stretch for students to be able to make decisions, to be able to unplug their devices, turn off their lights, do larger loads of laundry instead of smaller loads, and make these decisions as if you were extending your life at home. What the goal of the meeting was, was to see what everyone got out of it and how we could use that information to really reach out to the residents. Maybe they need to see the numbers, like doing it themselves. EarthFest was right in the middle of Campus Conservation Nationals. It was awesome because we got to interact with a lot of students, being able to explain to them that if they save energy, they're helping the world be greener. This is a surprising deal of information I didn't know. Conserve energy. We need it for later.
Campus Conservation Nationals for 2013 involved nine resident buildings on St. John's campus. Those nine buildings also had a competition within themselves to compete for the most energy percentage saved from their baseline. And at the same time, they're getting prize money back for the savings. From the summarization meeting with the Watt Stoppers, we found out that people use the elevator a lot. How are we going to use this information um, and present it in a you know, unique and engaging way to the students? My boss, the energy director of the university, decided, hey, we need to get a blender bike. A fun way to campaign and get people to come over to talk about our initiative to take the stairs for three days and to stop using the elevator. My roommates and I would um, race each other down the stairs. It was definitely more interesting than waiting 20 minutes for the elevator. Campus Conservation Nationals 2013, the winning building on St. John's campus was Hindley Road. We decided that we were going to show something different and prove something different to show that our building was superior and we accomplished it. And I live in De Silva Hall and I don't know what happened. We were winning the whole time and out of nowhere they just swept us. So even though it sparked like a, a friendly type of competition and rivalry, it also motivated people to really conserve energy. They won a $2,000 cash prize in order to purchase uh, something good for their building where it's all students can enjoy. I think for our whole campus conservation and Watt Stopper program, it was very successful this year. That being said, I think that it's a great opportunity for us to build and make it better. The takeaway is that the students develop good habits. They can also celebrate energy savings, carbon footprint reduction, and dollar savings. We didn't do some big substantial thing that I needed some fancy document to do. All we did was look at what we've been doing and try to cut it down. We have now an awareness campaign that we can continue year after year to engage students to be able to save energy. It's as simple as just be aware of what you're doing. If you want to learn, go out and do it. Don't say, oh, I want to help. Say, I'm going to help. And go out and do it.